the movie begins with a boy trying to sleep la, but a monster try to scare him. Uh, whoops. Uh, Turns out it was a simulation as it's the monster job to collect children's scream for electricity to power their shitty. And the worst mistake is to leave the door open and allow a child to enter the monster's world. We're then introduced to Mike and Sullivan, the top duo that scares children for a living, that work for a company obsessed with little kids called Monsters Inc. Imagine living in a shitty powered by the screams of children. Well, this the CEO and this the best scarer. Imagine telling your friends your job has access to every children in their bedroom in the world sound like the pedophile dream at monsters inc sullivan is employee of the month and mike is dating a one-eyed medusa maybe our kids will have two eyes then comes the randall a scarer who wants to beat sullivan to a new scare record with an introduced to the most beautiful ross oh she's so sexy the epitome of beauty her wrinkles turn me on and her mole looks like a nipple she is my type for real mike takes some paperwork and Ross displays her beauty. And for the job, the doors come and are portals to the human world as it shows us which part of the world the kids have fallen asleep la. The scarers then come and as they warm up and get ready, Sullivan has the highest score. But what kind of child-obsessed sorcery has every door that connects to the bedroom of every little kid? Whoever came with this idea was either high on drugs or a creepy pedo. They then use this object to collect screens for energy to power the shitty. But it turns out it's not easy to scare kids these these days as the company is not producing enough energy. But it's so easy to scare kids, just target kids in China and give their parents a B plus report card and you will hear plenty of screaming. And no matter how hard Randall tried, he could never beat the Sullivan. And this world is somehow convinced touching a kid will kill you as child detection agency removes all contamination. Uh. Can you show me a roar? A roar? A roar. Uh, hey yo! When it's time to go home, Mike is excited for his date but turns out he didn't file his paperwork and has to stay behind. And as he tells his girl, Sullivan says he'll do it for him but then finds a random door with nobody around. And when he checks, he finds the little girl. What's up? Uh, as he thinks the kid will kill him. Ew, you get the hell away from me, okay kid? Ah! Uh. Hi. You go to bed. He then hears footsteps, so Sullivan leaves as it turns out to be Randall. Bro hides the evidence, but the girl still stalk him. So bro scoops her up, takes her back to the door, but Randall comes out and puts the door away. Aya. Uh... <laughs> We then get an octopus selling sushi, which is like a human selling human meat. And as Mike tries to get his pipe inserted, Sullivan does the cock block. The kid then gets out, causing panic and chaos as Mike and Sully takes the kid. The CDA then takes Mike's girl as this gets on the news. Meanwhile, they see the kid as a killing machine. And that's my bear. When a child cries, it affects the electricity and when she laughs, it's even stronger. Sully names the kid Boo. As Boo draws him, gets tired, goes to bed, scared of Randall, so Sully comforts and Boo goes to sleep. Sully starts to think Boo is harmless and creates a disguise to send her home. She then does a little dance. Hey yo, I gotta pee. Oh. Then we start seeing bonding time with Sully and the kid getting along. Where is she? Teehee. While Mike Wazowski didn't do his paperwork, Boo then comes scared as they hide from Randall who freaks out looking for the kid. Yes. We gotta get her back home. Ta-da, her door. Mike, that's not her door. Wait, where'd she go? While Medusa gets upset she did not get piped, Mike tries the non-consensual risk. Randall then finds Mike on the newspaper. So he tells him to bring the kid during lunch break and he'll bring her door to put her back in. While this little shit keeps running away, Sully gets distracted. Honestly, at this point, just leave the baby to rot. Sully then thinks she's at the garbage dump where she gets crushed and turned into a lump of trash la. Just look at his face, he thinks if he has kids it's going to end up like that now. When in reality, she's just chilling with other kids. Mikey then meets Sully who tells him the sad news, only to find that little brat one minute later. If you don't want her to run away, try the bamboo stick, very effective. So they run and find Boo's door like Randall said, but Sully doesn't trust him, so Mike goes inside to prove it safe and gets captured. Randall kidnaps him, but how the hell did he not see it was Mike?
like on the bed, this lizard needs glasses. Bull then finds a secret door which helps Sully find Randall, who gets mad at Mike and shows him a machine that will change the scare industry. It's called the Glock Glock 4000. Then the power goes out and when Randall checks and fixes it, he comes back to see his co-worker get his soul sucked out of him. Oh, he got that good Glock Glock. Sully and Mike run away and had a chance to leave, but Sully decides to tell the CEO. But the CEO doesn't listen and pressures him to roar and show a demonstration. Roar. Ah. Bull is terrified and runs away and despite the applause, Bull is now uncomfortable around Sullivan and reveals her identity to the CEO. And while Mike explains, Sully sees the harmful impact scaring kids can have. So instead of scaring them, just beat them like the Asian. The CEO then says he'll take the girl back to her home but a weird door appears. And they're like, what the hell? Randall then appears and the CEO pushes them out the door to be stuck in the human world forever. Moral of the story, having kids will ruin your life. So just get the abortion. Mikey then blames Sully they're in this mess over a random kid Then meets the abominable snowman that provides snow cones Sully then builds a sled and has a fallout with Mike And bro just leaves his best friend over a kid he's known for one day Poor Mikey Sully then sleds, crashes but finds some kids and arrive at Monsters Inc to find Boo Meanwhile Boo is put to the machine as the CEO needs the machine to save his company So they do kidnapping and child abuse But Sully saves Boo and breaks the machine Making Randall mad and giving him all the smoke. Then Mikey comes and says he understands why Sully did it, but feels like Sully isn't listening and throws a snowball which helps beat Randall. So Sully and Mike are friends again, while Medusa want that Wazowski dick. Give me that dick. Stop being horny. Ah. Sully and Mike with Randall following tries to find Boo's door and in the process go to places like Mount Fuji and Paris. But despite this, Randall takes Boo and when Sully finds her again, we get the Lion King scene. Only this time when Randall tries to be Scar, Boo gets angry and gives the a full Asian parent special. Sully then grabs him, Boo does the roar, and gets sent to Alabama where he gets beat and watches incest. And once finding Boo's door, the power is off so they need Boo to laugh. So Mike sacrifices his future kids but Boo not impressed. The door then starts moving as the CDA and CEO awaits them. Sully and Mike tries to hide but how does anybody not see that big body and upon arriving, Mike creates a distraction and runs away. While Sully and Boo goes elsewhere, the CEO notices and chases after them. They find a door and go inside it, but the CEO says he needs to kill Boo and will kidnap a thousand children to save his company. But turns out it was a dummy and was set up by Mike to have the CDA here every day. So Bro gets arrested and a sexy Ross was an undercover CDA agent. Sully then asks to send Boo home and Ross allows it in the condition he never sees her again. So Sully gets her door ready as Boo gives Mike a hug. She goes inside and brings Sully. And we get the Toy Story and Finding Nemo ready. Reference. Boo then gives Sully a hug, Sully leaves, and when Boo opens the door, it's her closet. As the door gets destroyed, leaving a single piece. With the workers thinking they're out of a job, Sully has an idea, and it's making kids laugh. <laughs> Since laughter produces 10 times more energy than screams, workers are now required to make kids laugh. We then find Sullivan as the new Monsters Inc. CEO with business booming better than ever. Mike is happy with his girl cause look at what them snakes can do. But Sully misses Bo so Mike surprises him with Bo's door as the best friend did it himself. So he fills the missing piece, opens the door and finds Bo. And this created the obsession to meet more and more kids as this is the story of how Sullivan became the world's greatest. Peter. The end.